Hey, welcome to our first species profile edition for the Watercolors Aquarium Gallery YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about Fricata rainbow fish. Amy brought those up because she thinks they're so cool. I love that fish. <laughs> Super cool little fish. Sometimes they're called forktail rainbows, sometimes they're called Fricata rainbows. Pseudomimo Fricata, or part of the blue eyed rainbow fish family, is what they are. They are native to slow moving clear water streams in Papua New Guinea, typically around 200 parts per million. So here in West Michigan, stop messing with your water parameters. <laughs> Just leave them as is. They Particularly are... for this fish, but in general. This is a gorgeous little nano fish that was made for West Michigan tap water. That vibrant yellow on those fins. I love these little guys. They only um, get to like two inches. Tiny little fish, perfect for nano tanks, perfect for lots of different situations. And they love to display. If you keep yes. them in the right group, the males will be out doing that flicking fin thing they do. I wouldn't do less than like two males and four females. This uh, is actually a fish that we get from a local breeder, so they're usually taking flake food when they come to us, but they definitely will by the time they get home. Sometimes I like to spoil them with some of the extra moina we're culturing downstairs in the basement. Yeah. That yeah. live food section helps those guys a lot. Yeah. It's not necessary for them. It is a fun treat for them, though. Yeah. Even frozen foods, bloodworms, daphnia, fantastic treats for any pseudomugil, but also for kata. Spawning these guys is supposed to be really easy. We are going to work on those in the basement. Charles is working on setting up his little mad scientist breeding room down there. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do for these guys? Uh, the current plan right now is to put them in a tent with a bunch of like either spawning moths or java moths, whatever I find first, <laughs> and leave them in for a few days and then pull them all out, put them back in the retail tank, and hopefully we have eggs. If that doesn't work, then I'll have to start experimenting. Ten gallon is a great starter size for these fish. Definitely think more horizontal versus more vertical tanks. So if you're doing a 20, probably better to do a 20 long than a 20 high, but both of those would be fine. They're pretty easy to keep. If you want to keep them in the types of groups that show them off the best, which is probably a bigger mixed group of males and females, more females to males, I would say a 20 is probably the best size to get them to show the best. It is really nice to find a really vibrantly colored fish that can go into a small tank. Yes, absolutely. Such a cool fish. Anyway, give these fish a try. They're some amazing fish. If you want to learn more about these fish, visit watercolorsaquariumgallery.com. Check out our podcast. We're going to go into a little bit more detail on our podcast. Thanks a lot for listening.